Welcome back to my show. I'm the Bear Adventure. I'm Carissa. And on this episode of the Malt Liquor Project, we're trying to get each other. I've got the 5.5 five and the 8.5 Cold 45. Now, if you look at some of the previous videos where we got the, hey, you guys should uh, do them against each other, you'll find out that the first time Chris I had either one of these was on camera. How does that happen? How do you grow up in Memphis? <laughs> and have you never had Cold 45? Gonna okay. From I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say she didn't drink much beer until no. we started hanging out. I didn't drink any beer, much beer, my tail. Mm -mm. Well, okay. So we we had a request uh, try them against each other. So we're going to. Um, so let's see. All right. Now, I'm going to pour some over here. We're not zooming in or anything, because... Mm, it's cold 45. What I mean, you, you know what color it is. Because um, I'd be interested to see if they're different colors. Yeah, um, they look pretty much the same. Mm. They look... They look pretty close. Okay, so this is the 5.5. Five, this is the 8.5. Okay, now I'll leave a link to the other videos down in the description and maybe even put one of those click things um, so you can see what we thought about those by themselves. <laughs> she looks so nervous. Because I'm going to say part of it is she almost felt like Upset that you didn't hate them? I yeah. Don't, I don't really know. Um, I don't know. Maybe you would have hated them if you not drank much beer, but now. And, and be forewarned, um, we drink very expensive, highly exclusive beers yeah. on this channel. Yeah. We drink oh, super rare regional beers. We drink crazy expensive national beers because I, I'm a beer guy. But I also drink cheap convenience store beers because I drink cheap convenience store beers too. All right. I say we go with the 5.5 five oh, yeah. first. Yeah. Okay. okay. The 5.5, five, you know, we're looking at. I don't know. It's kind of light. Yeah. Pretty smooth. It is. Easy. Yeah. Um, Has that little malty taste. No yeah. hoppy. Yeah. Just kind of, yeah. It's very it's... chill and kind of simple. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not mad at it. Unfortunately, I'm not either. I'm still mad that I'm not mad. Okay. The eight five. <clears throat> okay, it does taste stronger. It does. It tastes a little more alcoholy. Yes, it That's, does. I don't know if that's a word, but but it does. It's not as sweet. No, it's not. But it is sweet. But it's not as sweet. Not as, as sweet. As the lower alcohol content. But it, it doesn't taste like. It's like, oh, that's very alcohol. I don't, yeah, I don't taste the alcohol. No. But there is definitely a difference between the two. Oh, yeah. You probably wouldn't even realize how much alcohol taste is in it. If until you didn't you taste the other compared one. it until the, to the well, other Well, I mean, one. we drink the other ones, and I don't, I don't think I. I mean, I didn't try them against each other when I did the other videos, so. Yeah. I don't guess I really tasted the difference. You wouldn't really probably think about it until you tasted them back to back. Which one do you think is sweeter? Oh, I think the, the lower, the regular cold 45 is definitely I sweeter. I think it, well, I'm not going to say regular because I know, yeah. well, well no, lower. 
alcohol. I'm going to say the 5.5 five because yeah. I did a tiny bit of research and it looked like there are different alcohol contents in different areas. Oh. Okay. I'm, I'm not entirely... Okay. It was a little ambiguous. Um, but that's kind of like... Uh, I know this sounds horrible, but there's multiple different alcohol contents of Four Loco in different areas. It just depends on where you are. And what Me and a friend are. were talking about Four Loco, and he's like, you have to review some of that. And I, I, I Wikipedia'd it, and I was kind of shocked at how much and how different. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that I, I think they're through some of the, what have I looked at, there might be some different alcohol contents in different markets. Mm -hmm. Now, we live in Tennessee, and Tennessee, within the last few years, changed their beer. Yes. It used to be anything basically over 6% alcohol. Mm -hmm. You couldn't get it. You had to get at a liquor store, yeah. which was super lame. But they've changed that. So I can get some high gravity beers at the lip at I can still get them at the liquor stores when I go, but I can get, get them at, at the grocery store. I can get them at grocery stores and convenience, convenience stores, stores and beer stores and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So that's been very helpful for us. But uh you know I don't really know which one I like better. I do. They're, oh you do. I mean, I definitely taste more alcohol mm -hmm. than the high gravity. I like the sweeter taste of the 5.5. You do? I do. But the alcohol content in this is rocking. <laughs> I like the way this one makes me feel. I like this one tastes. Depends on what I want to achieve but it, it's at that really... moment. Like, that, this doesn't taste bad. I, I like the little bit sweeter taste of this one, though. But I like a sweeter beer. I know like it's very... No, it's not. It, it's very indecisive, but I don't really like or dislike one more than the other. It's like they taste close enough, but this one you is. You can a, taste the difference though when you taste it's it back a, to back. This one's a little smoother. It's sweeter. And a little sweeter. This is a little boozier. And a little maltier. I don't know. This is a little sharper. A little sharper? Yeah, it's got a sharper taste than. This is a little. It's got that sweetness to it that kind of milds it out a little bit more. It's kind of like a mild cheddar and a medium cheddar. <laughs> As a foodie, I kind of get what you're getting at. As a big fan of cheese. Um, <laughs> we hit all the buttons. I don't know. I mean... There is a difference if you taste there, it. Like there that. is a big difference, but it's not. Neither one of them. But neither one of them are offensive. I like them both. There is definitely a more boozy taste to the higher gravity. I would definitely say the five five is a more it's easy sweeter. drinking. It's sweeter. It's a little smoother. Definitely. Yeah, I would say it's smooth. I think it really comes down to, do you want to have a couple beers and maybe catch a little bit of a buzz? Or do you want to have a couple beers and not get a buzz? Just have the taste of beer. Or do you want to have a couple beers and get drunk? Mm -hmm. What day of the week is it? What happened this week? Uh, well, I'm going to leave links <laughs> to the two reviews down there, but... I'm really kind of surprised how much difference in flavor mm -hmm. I'm really getting drinking these. 
I really wish I could tell you which one I like more, but I, I don't really... I don't think it's a, a choice in taste. I think it's a choice in what you want out of it. I think that I, both okay, taste is, is... One taste is as good as the other. I think it's really just down to what do you want out of it. Um... I'm I'm really I'm really in for that because and it's here's another thing. What do you want to do after? Right. Um if you wanna have wanna a couple of Do you want to eat a beer, cheeseburger and go to sleep? Or do, you, <laughs> or do you want to do other things? <laughs> I mean, if if I had two forties of the eight five I'm done. I'm lightweight, I, I'm done. You know, there's there's not a whole lot going on after that one. But. I'm happy, but I'm taking a nap. <laughs> this one's definitely a lighter yes. feeling, a lighter flavor. This one's a more, it's not intense, but it's a more bold it flavor. It is. It is. It definitely is. It's less, the higher gravity is less sweet than the, mm -hmm. the 5.5. But it's more boozy. But it's more boozy, and which is not necessarily a bad thing. Like no. I said, it depends on what you're going for. I don't know. I like them both. I like them both. I'll drink them both some again. Shit, but I like them both. And you'll drink them both again, maybe. <sighs> Ain't that some stuff? Look Whatever. at that! Now you're now you're Whatever. at the point. <laughs> now you're at the point where you're like, you could be having a bad day at work and stop, <laughs> get, get a gas. Damn cold. And get a cold 45 or two, bring it home. Oh, if I get two of those, I'm going to bed. Have dinner, drink a couple beers. I'm done. Take a shower. Er, done, son. Done. Well, there you have it, folks. <sighs> I guess that's the best we can do right now. I hope you enjoyed it. There's no sense rating it. We've already rated them before. That's true. If you want to write it on me, you've got to look at those videos. Until your next beer adventure. Cheers. Oh, wait, you picked up both and I picked up one. Oh, wait. I've, I've looked at... Uh, oh, I hope y'all are still here. Here's the thing. It usually seems like you pick up the one you like the best. Oh, you went for the higher ground. I think I, I did. Both. <laughs> She's a lush. All right, we'll do the high gravity. Cheers. Cheers.